So here is my Kittables Rubik's Cube Solver. I've just completed the kit. Um, no instructions online yet, but it seems to be pretty simple. I've based it off of their uh, uh, the uh, pictures that they had online. Basically, they had two pictures of a, a nearly similar unit. It's not exactly the same. Uh, the one downside I did find of the kit is there's not enough of these little nuts right here, these nylon nuts, to actually uh, put all the screws in. So I wound up uh, uh, foregoing one in the uh, Arduino. I'm probably going to move one from the other side over to here. Um, and I also wound up just gluing in my uh, my servos since um, that's going to be fine here. Now I'm using the Parallax Continuous Rotation Servo in here. Uh, so that this can spin around continuously. I happen to use one in here as well, though I didn't need to. Um, I just happen to have two of them. Um, and there you can see uh, uh, that's that's glued in there as well. There's my Arduino Uno, and then the uh, rotation servo. I just have these wired in here with uh, just little uh, uh, pins uh, right into the Arduino. Um, basically using the exact same instructions that the uh, Instructable had. Um, now, one one of the things you want to make sure when you put this together is that this uh, uh, this is actually free to fall back down. Um, that appears to be important to the operation of it. Um, instead of using a little spring or something like that in there, um, let me show you what happens. Um, so this is the uh, uh, nice little cube that they actually included with it. It's just a Chinese version of a, a Rubik's cube, but it actually spins quite freely. Um, so it's a uh, uh, almost as good as my uh, my speed solver cube there. So this kind of goes in here, um, and basically what happens is when this server runs, you'll see that this actually will flip the cube up like that, and you can see that it dumps it into there nice, quite nicely. Um, but it relies on uh, this little nub to right over the top to push it down in there, um, as well as the uh, uh, gravity to pull it back down so that it rides on this, uh, this little um, plastic bushing. You can see there's one here, and there's also one in here, um, and it kind of rides on that. Um, so then when, once this goes in place, this actually allows us to rotate around, and you can see it just rotates the bottom rack. Now, the one thing I did notice is there wasn't any clear instructions or anything like that. Uh, there is a slight tip up on this side, and, and in the pictures they showed that on the top. Um, I think this arm is actually slightly off-skewed. I think these should actually grab uh, more evenly down. It, it just really doesn't go any further down than that. Um, I don't know if this, this top rod just isn't long enough. Um, or what it is, but that's the only uh, thing that I can see. And I might actually pop these off of here and just uh, um, laser cut some new ones. Uh, but it, it seems to work okay, but you can see it's just barely got that middle uh, middle row. So, um, so as I flip through here, you can see that that'll go ahead and rotate that. Now, I think in the logic we'll have to put a little tap in there to get that to go back in and you can see it actually knocked that quite a little bit out of alignment um, this is going to be really finicky i can tell in getting the rotation just right um, but i think they've actually uh, uh, dealt with that in the uh, uh, the software so in this case we'll rotate that and then when i rotate this back around um, that'll basically solve that bottom row so that is a quick little uh, video of my uh, Kittables Arduino-powered Rubik's Cube Solver.